This video will demonstrate how to find a line of best fit on the TI-83 graphing calculator. It's called Linreg and we use it to find the line of best fit using technology, in this case the TI-83 graphing calculator. So, the example says find the line of best fit for the following data. A table is given and we're going to use our graphing calculator to find the line of best fit for that data. If you haven't already, turn your calculator on. That's just the on button, bottom left. Next step is to hit second plus seven one two to clear the memory. And that's an instruction for a TI-83 plus. Make sure it's a TI-83 plus to clear the memory there. Okay, next thing we want to do is enter the data into the calculator. Find the stat button. It's just beside the left arrow. Hit stat and then enter to edit the tables. And in L1, that's going to be our X columns. We X column, we type in the data, one, enter, four, enter. I'm just going to type in all the X's as they appear in the table I was given. And when I'm done that, I go over to L2 in the first entry and I type in all the Y values as they're given in the table. This can take a little bit of time, but I'm sure you'll agree once you get good at it, it's much faster than drawing the graph and estimating for yourself, and plus it's going to be way more accurate. So I'll just double check 149, 11, 14, 15, and 120.2, 180.6. I just want to make sure, yep, 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 got them, that all my numbers were correct, otherwise the calculator would get the wrong answer because I made a typo. So my data's entered. Next thing I want to do is hit the yellow second button and then Y equals right after second Y equals and I get to the statistics plots that is to graph this data but they're turned off so hit enter and you see that off is selected but the cursor's on on if I hit enter again I've now turned the graph on that is it's going to graph it if I were to hit graph so let's hit graph problem is I don't quite see my points yet. That is, the points are off the graph. It's graphing it, but I can't see them because I'm not zoomed right. So hit zoom, and you can either scroll down or just hit number nine for zoom on my stats, on my points, and there they all are. It centers the graph perfectly on all my dots. So far, so good. The next thing I want to do is probably hit second zero. This is optional, but hitting second, then the zero button, see on top of zero it says catalog. This allows us to do a little bit extra. When we scroll down, we want to second zero, we scroll all the way down till you get to diagnostic on. When you get there, hit enter. It appears on the screen and hit enter again. What that's going to do is give us what's called the correlation coefficient, or the R value, which is going to tell us how well our data matches the line we create. So we've turned diagnostic on, we're going to get that correlation coefficient, but first we have to actually do the line of best fit, that is we have to do Linreg. This is the step that requires some patience to learn, but once you get it it's easy. So follow along carefully. It begins by hitting the stat button, which you just pressed, but this time instead of editing the tables we hit stat, but then we go right arrow over to the calc menu, and we scroll down till we get to Linreg. Select Linreg so it appears on the screen but don't hit enter yet we have some more information to tell the calculator. We want to tell the calculator our, our X values are in L1 so we hit second and then the one key see on top of the one key it says L1 so second one gives you an L1. Now hit a comma it's on top of the seven. Do it again but this time tell it where the Y values are they were in Y in L2, so the Y values in L2 tell the calculator go second 2, that gives me, see on top of the 2, an L2. So we've told the calculator make a line using my X's in L1, my Y's are in L2, comma, and now the last part, where to put the answer. Put the answer in Y1. How do I get Y1? This VARS button, the VARS is just below the down arrow, so VARS, and then hit the right arrow because you don't want the normal vars, you want y vars. We want to put it in the y equation. And it's a function, so hit enter. And it's y1 we want, so hit enter. And now we've told the calculator, take the x's in L1, the y's in L2, 
make an equation and put the answer in equation y1. We've got everything set to go, so we hit enter. Calculator thinks sometimes for a few seconds and then gives us our answer. And there's our equation. If we want to see the graph, we just hit graph, and where our points were, the calculator draws a neat steady line that is a line of best fit for our data. If we want to see that equation again, we can go to y equals, and there it is. We can write it down, and let's round to, say, three decimal places. The line of best fit for this data is y equals negative 3.619 x Notice it's negative 3.619, a lot of decimals, x, plus 123.442. That line of best fit is a good approximation of the pattern we see here on the graph. Last thing to note, I'll just quit out of here, second mode to get away from the graph, back to where I did my LinRedge. You'll notice it calculated this r, this correlation coefficient, and the r here is negative 0. Point. Well, in fact, it's almost exactly 1. It's negative 0 0.999. That's really good. That means our line is 999 one thousandths close to all the points. It's sort of like a rating between 0 and 1. Think of it like on a scale of 1 to 1,000. We're 999 ways close to 1,000 of getting there. We're 999 out of 1,000. So it's a great rating. It means that our graph, and sure enough, look at that graph, though that line is almost perfectly through all the points. It's very close to all of them. And that's why it got such a good correlation coefficient. It means our line is very strongly related to all the points. Finally, this negative in front of the R tells us that this line represents a relationship that's going down. So what do we have here? A relationship or a correlation that is both negative going down and very strong, very close to 1.0, very close to a line. And here's that equation of that line of best fit.